you know, relapse Hodgkin lymphoma, um, despite all the advances that have occurred, uh, continues to be a barrier to the long-term success uh, for patients. And so uh, we know that brentuximab maintenance can improve clinical outcomes. And so this study was taking a different approach, offering patients a PD-1 inhibitor, specifically nivolumab, as a maintenance approach for about six months post-autotransplant as a way to prevent um, disease recurrence. The premise of this is that PD-1 inhibitors show incredible efficacy as a single agent in the relapse refractory setting. And so this took patients who were high risk after autologous stem cell transplant and as a phase two single arm study uh, provided nivolumab maintenance. 37 patients were enrolled and the majority were able to complete treatment uh, with nivolumab. Uh, finishing the entire six-month period. There were some patients who, due to adverse effects uh, due to the nature of this medication, did have to stop treatment early. Uh, despite that, the early data looked very encouraging with the median follow-up about nine months. The median progression-free survival was 92.1%, and the median overall survival was 100%. And so these are very exciting data. Again, it's immature data. We need follow-up in two, three, four years. But it goes to show that perhaps a PD-1 inhibitor maintenance approach uh, could lead to favorable outcomes and prevent relapse after autologous stem cell transplant and, and potentially <clears throat> and ultimately needs to be tested against the current standard of care, which is administration of a CD30 antibody, specifically brentuximab.